What is up, my fellow trade hackers? Today is Thursday, January 23rd. What's going on in the markets? Well, to start with, I've got an intraday chart of the S&P. So the in between the gray area, that's the actual cash market. The gray is the overnight session. Uh, so this is just the last couple of days. You know, yesterday we had a little bit of downside. And then we opened up and the market dropped. S&P was down about 13 plus at one point. And I thought, whoa, okay, now maybe can we get a little downside action? The answer, no. Rebounded again. This market is super resilient. S&P closed up six, Dow down basically flat, uh, NASDAQ up a little bit, and Russell pretty flat. Oil was down a couple percent at one point. Let me go back to a daily chart. And then it rallied up, brought back most of its losses on the day, but still down about 1.83%. It was down over 3% at one point. And implied volatility did pop. If we look at USO, which is the corresponding ETF, you can see the implied volatility spiked. It was up, way up, over the 60-ish percentile area. I can't remember exactly what it was when we put it on, but we ended up selling some premium in oil. So got some action in oil early in the day. Went back to the well in Netflix. So Netflix had a big rally today. Let's see, what was it up exactly? Over 7% on the session. We entered a reverse iron duck when price was right about here and it just continued to go up. So big move in Netflix. So we'll see if that continues or if that's a more of a one day move. I know they had some Analyst upgrades, which is what apparently is pushing the price higher. Apparently, all the streaming competitors, Disney, Quibi, some of the others, apparently they're just not any big deal. Netflix is going to continue to dominate, is what that says. What else happened? Intel. Intel announced after the market closed today, and it was already up a few big up moves leading up to earnings. And then what happened? Well, let's look at intraday. So this is when the market closed and they announced after the market closed and it shot up. So the expected move was about three bucks, I think. Yeah, 2.7 2. was the expected move and the stock is up. Let's see, it closed at about 63 and a quarter. It's up 67, so it's up about four bucks. It's up above the expected move. So one thing we will look at, we didn't do any uh, trades in the alerts on Intel holding through earnings, but when it opens up above the expected move, we have some very specific strategies that we like to look at. So if price holds up here or, or even higher, then we will potentially look to add a position first thing uh, when the market opens tomorrow, uh, just like we teach in our earnings course. And then lastly, gold. So let's go to GLD to start with and let's go to the daily chart. If we look at GLD, plot volatility popped up a little bit. Price had a big up move and it came down a little bit near the close. But we went ahead and added to our gold position. So sold an iron condor in gold to add to that. So that's all I got. Not any real big stock earnings tomorrow or uh, tomorrow morning. Just the Intel one after the bell here. There's some others that are kind of borderline as far as we still trade, but not necessarily the big dogs. But that's all I got. So tomorrow is our pro member video recap. So I will check back with you trade hackers on Monday. Everybody have a good one. Talk to you soon.